Hey guys, it's me, Muddy Soap, again with another video of uh, pretty much just showing off my map. This would be part uh, three, I think. And this video, I'm going to show the temple. That big, beautiful structure you see in front of you now, which is the center of the map. Now, the last video, um, I showed the right side, which is this bit here, and I flew around all of the caves and stuff. So, yep. I did that last video. But this video, it's all about the temple. Now, I've dedicated one video, one entire video, to the temple because it is big. It's huge. It's massive. So, I'm just going to walk around instead of flying around just to give you this sense of scale. You can't really get that when you're flying around. So, it's pretty big. Looking at it, it makes you feel small and pathetic. But coming up here, this is one of the main entrances, which is, there's one on each side. There's, excuse me, there's another one. And there's a bunch of ways in and out of this place. There's a capture point here for the transition mode. Uh, these stairs, if I quickly run down, they lead to the cave, which I have shown briefly in the other videos. This cave is the cave that you jump down to from those those bits above us, I guess. The, um, but just to show it off in a bit more detail and to tell you where I'm going with it, uh, this we're directly below the temple right now, right below it. You can actually jump down if you're inside the temple. You can jump down from up there. You do hurt yourself, however. I might try and fix that so you don't hurt yourself as badly when you fall down. But this bit's caved in. Uh, there was originally a staircase here, but I had to delete it to make room for other stuff. Um, but anyway, uh, I've yet to add a bunch of waterfalls here, which I don't think I can even do. Like I said, I, I keep saying it, but I keep running into the maximum number of stuff per grid section thing. That keeps pissing me off. So I'm having to shift a bunch of stuff around. But let's get back upstairs. Do, 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 do. Run up here. And it's, this would be a really good defensive position. If you're playing team deathmatch, this would be the place to go. Because you can just hold the high ground. Uh, and that's kind of how I designed the map. Is to make this spot the place to be. Because um, you have a height advantage. It's not the perfect place to be. Because there are so many areas you can get shot from. But it's it's a definitely a good vantage point. You know, you can see most of the map from this area. Um, I'm thinking of adding a zip line here and trying to put it down there, saving you running all the way around. But we got a nice tree. Everything's overgrown. Got some vines growing on this thing. Some scaffoldings holding everything up. Let's go inside. Look at this. Do a nice cinematic type of view. As if I'm doing some kind of E free demo. But it's cool. And like I said before in my other videos, I try to build stuff so it looks convincing as if this could actually be real like it's like the reason to the supports like these um columns these pillars is not to just to look good but you know it it, it gives a sense of realism and you get the feeling that this building could actually be real like if you if you came here in real life and you I, I try to get the illusion that this place could be real, you know. 
I mean, it is falling apart. I've, I've added a bunch of holes in the walls, like that big hole there. But I've tried to do it in a way so that it looks all eroded and it's falling apart, which is why I've added a bunch of like holes, uh, cracks and stuff in the floor as well, like this here. It's all crumbling away, which I think is pretty cool. Now, we were just down there. That's the cave. You can drop down there. I won't drop down there just yet. I want to show off all of this good stuff. Now, like any good map creator, they try to focus on the details. And so I got like a little, a little offering, a little shrine, which is cool. So this place would be like a place of worship, if you would. Um, which is nice. I've got some scaffolding coming up here. This would be another way in to the temple. Gives you a nice little vantage point as well across the, the land there. Going back inside. If I just drop down. Drop. I've got a cave back here. And it's only small. It's not big. And I forgot to save it, because there should be a rock here, <laughs> but I forgot to save it. Um, so yeah, you've got a nice little vantage point. There is a capture point in this point in the map. It's a nice hole in the wall you can walk in. And that's where we jumped down in a previous video. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the temple, I think. Have I shown... Oh no, I haven't shown the back entrance. There's a ladder there, there's a nice dragon skull. You can come in through the back. And this is where that staircase was that I mentioned previously. Uh, in the cave below us. Um, but there's, there's an entrance to the temple here. Which I'll quickly run through and it leads you to the left side. And then it's the same again on the other side. It, 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 this map's kind of symmetrical in a way. And this leads you to the caves. The big caves. Which just leads off. So, again, I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, leave a like if you liked what you saw. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, I always appreciate it. I do read them. So it's not in vain. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, I don't know when I'll have another video up. Um, I'll, I'll, I know, I'll probably be about a week from now. But uh, I'm still working on the map. So I, once I've done a sizable change to the map, I'll do another video showing you guys what I've done and 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 so on and so forth. So. Thanks for watching and until next time.